In this day and age, many people don't read for pleasure. There are many reasons for this. Some may believe that reading takes too much time or effort. Others may have never enjoyed reading at school and can't imagine doing it for fun. Some may simply never have encountered an environment that fostered a love of reading. However, reading can greatly enhance your life experience and there are ways to make it even more enjoyable, whether you do it frequently or just for school or work assignments. First, why do you want to read? Before you pick up a book, consider what you want to get out of it. Is it to learn new skills, to relax and enjoy, to get inspiration for something you do? This is important because you are much more likely to learn to love reading if you connect with something that seems purposeful to you. If reading is just an exercise or something you feel you should like, it's not likely to have any impact. Identify what you want to read. Once you know whether you want to learn, be entertained or something else, you can narrow down types of books based on your answer. For instance, knowing you want an entertaining story alone doesn't narrow down between poetry, literature, popular fiction, memoir and other types of writing, all of which could provide an entertaining narrative. Try doing an internet search for popular books in the area that you've chosen. This can give you a list of suggestions where you might start. Talk with the employees at your local bookstore. Most people who work at bookstores love reading and love books. They can be a great source of recommendations. Also, chatting with people who are passionate about reading might even spark a little fire of your own. Make connections between reading and other interests. If you feel passionate about anything, you should try seeking out books that are about that or are at least a frame of the context. Remember that you can read more than books too. Look at print and online magazines and other places to find other reading material. Put down books you don't like. People sometimes feel obligated to finish a book even when they don't like it. You'll develop an aversion to reading rather than a love of it if you try to slog through a 300 page novel that you don't like. Many books can start slow as they develop the setting and people or characters involved but if a book hasn't hooked you within 50 to 75 pages, then there's nothing wrong with moving to another one. Remember that reading is personal. Reading isn't a competition. It's a deeply personal, highly subjective activity. There's no reason why you should feel guilty for not loving that award-winning novel everyone's talking about. Nor should you feel embarrassed if you truly love something that others don't. Read what you love and don't compare yourself to anyone else. Always remember, reading is to the mind what exercises to the body. <laughs>